Hello everybody, you're joining me for another Zerg 1v1 on King's Cove LE, and I am against Creepin' Death, the Zerg player. Which means, I am going to be doing some Ling Bane action, or not. Okay, time to move on to the next one. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I have no idea how to say his name, I'm not even going to try. But we are on Port Alexander LE. And it is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss, which means I might have the opportunity to do some kind of interesting strategies here, I think. What I'm going to try and do is see if I can maybe get some Lurkers out, if the situation allows. Obviously, if your opponent goes Sky Toss, you don't want to go Lurkers. It doesn't really work that way, but that's just something I'm going to keep in the back of my mind. And if we can achieve it, then Lurkers we shall have. Two drones there. One more for 17 to get us up to the natural. I don't think I have that hotkey. No, I don't. I have my main hotkey, but I don't have my th second, third, or fourth hotkey. So there we go. Drone number 17. Away he goes. Right around 200 minerals. We require more and there's the hatchery. Go ahead and send out a scout just to have a look around. Grab an extractor at 18 and a spawning pool at 18 as well. No pylons to be seen thus far. Good, that's good news. I got distracted paying attention to the pylons, now my spawning pool is late. Don't let this be you guys. Remember that spawning pool right around 120. All right, so I don't see any pylon. I'm gonna check down here and then I'm just gonna head over to his base and see what I can spot. Actually, you know what? I want the extra economy. I'm gonna put him back on there all instead. Grab another overlord. Small goal to keep myself on supply blocked all game this game. Here we go. We know this process quite well. As soon as the spawning pool finishes, we're gonna go queen, queen, adrenal glands, another overlord. Actually, we don't need another overlord until we get to about 30 supplies, so we can drone up for right now. This can actually set its hotkey down there to start furthering that. Imagine that's a photon cannon. Okay, you're already doing some weird shit, so we're just gonna go ahead and expand to a third. Here, the name of the game is going to be Saturate three bases as fast as humanly possible and hopefully fend off whatever the hell this guy's cooking up for me. I'm going to build two overlords to replace the one that's about to fall. I'm going to grab a lair here as soon as that queen finishes up. Put her on the hotkey as well, and grab two overlords and keep droning. So now we can go ahead and take our other gas. This overlord is just going to kind of hang around and make sure nothing escapes his base. If it does, I want to have notice of it.
Now that our lair is almost finished, I'm going to make sure I don't get supply blocked some more. Keep on spreading that creep. And just keep on a droning. And now I'm gonna send this guy in to see what I can spot. Grab two overlords, overlord speed, and two more queens. Keep droning. See a whole lot of stalkers, it looks like. I don't see any kind of tech to speak of. So I'm gonna try for the Hydralisk Den. Okay, so Lurkers is what's going to be my tech of choice here. Pop down some double evo chambers. That's just my queen about to die, that's fine. So we're going to get these saturated as we have. Now we just need to get this base up and running here. And one of these guys is going to come over and grab a fourth. And now we're just going to start piling on the hydras. Just loads of them. Like a stupid amount of hydralisks. That's an observer, so... I really thought I built more overlords. Apparently not. How's my lurker done looking? It's almost done. We're gonna get this second upgrade for the Hydras. I do want to go ahead and grab an infestation pit. Oh my god. Not good. We must place that on creep. Gotta keep tabs on him as best as I possibly can. See if we can maybe get a changeling read on wherever he is. I need these lurkers to finish, like, right now. Oh no!
could be it, you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, I had lurkers. They didn't do a whole lot, but I had them. Yeah, a lot of the time if you see an enemy get a quick natural like that, you can get away with a quick third, and then from there you can just sail your economy so far ahead of, the, of theirs. Let's just look at this. Look at this graph here, you guys. Alright, so resource collection rate. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, what's the build order here? When did his natural go down? His natural went down at 247. There we were about even. This right here is probably where my third finished, and then this here is where I started to drone it up. Oh wait, I'm on army value. Good god. Here we go. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, this is the finishing point of my natural, I believe, and then my third is right here, I think. And then from there it just... the gap is too much. You, you, you can't contest this if you're trying to do two base against three, it's just you either got to do some kind of early damage to offset the fact that your opponent has access to so many more resources than you do, or you have to try and push for an economical advantage yourself by going for a third of your own. And either way, it's kind of tricky just because the Zerg can drone so fast that they kind of have that leg up against Terran or Protoss. Well anyways guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to check back on my channel for some more StarCraft 2, as well as plenty of other games like Binding of Isaac, Brawlhalla, League of Legends, Rocket League, and more. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day everybody. Bye bye.